This video might stir your emotions, but it could also have a significant impact on your future. The reality is that many men fall into the category of nice guys without even realizing it. Perhaps you or someone you know always acts like the nice guy. If you're one of them, it's not your fault. It could be because you grew up without a father figure, due to an education system dominated by women, the influence of extreme feminism, or perhaps a combination of all these factors. No matter what led you to be a nice guy, your responsibility is to look forward and leave behind that mindset. Before you start questioning what's wrong with being a nice guy, I want you to know that there's a big difference between being a kind man and being the nice guy. The central belief of all nice guys is that if they are kind enough to everyone, they will get exactly what they want in return. This is a fantasy. The reality is that the more you sacrifice for others at your own expense, the more people will take advantage of that situation. But what if I told you there's a dark side to being a nice guy? I'll explain it all below, but if you've been enjoying the video so far, please do us a favor by subscribing and liking this video. You would be helping us continue to spread this philosophy and help you grow as a warrior. That being said, let's get started. What if I told you that the typical nice guy is not actually as noble as he appears? Nice guys often pretend to be kind on the outside, but in reality, they do it because they secretly expect something in return. The nice guy is often a passive-aggressive person who tries to get what he wants through manipulation using his kindness. Nice guys always seek approval and avoid conflicts. The alpha man is the complete opposite of the nice guy in every way. If the alpha is kind, it's because he chooses to be genuinely kind without expecting rewards or seeking validation. The alpha man doesn't fear disagreeing with others or avoiding conflicts. He doesn't seek trouble but he also doesn't fear it and confronts conflicts openly when they arise. In contrast, the nice guy treads carefully not to hurt anyone, not just to please everyone, but also out of cowardice. Many cowardly people disguise their fear as morality. They hide their inability to handle dangerous or conflict-ridden situations under the guise of moral integrity. In other words, they say, I don't do this because I'm too nice, instead of admitting, I don't do this because I'm a coward. The nice guy always ends up behind the alpha man in most cases. The nice guy has a scarcity mindset and idealizes himself, pretending to be the perfect choice. When rejected, he will insist that women don't know what they want. The historical man doesn't waste energy pretending to be someone he's not. He doesn't care if he doesn't please everyone because he's true to himself. Of course, just like the nice guy, the alpha man can also be rejected by women. The key difference is that the Alpha is honest and doesn't deny reality or act as a friend when rejected. If an Alpha is rejected, he knows there are more opportunities and moves on. The nice guy often gets stuck in the friend zone, sometimes for years. The nice guy may never admit that he was rejected and will deny reality. In the end, nice guys often finish last due to their flawed mindset and behavior. To address this first, you must acknowledge that there's a problem. Nobody wants to admit that they are in the nice guy position, being ignored or not taken seriously. Look at yourself objectively. Do you feel resentful or bitter in many situations because you don't get what you want? Look at yourself as if you were a stranger and face the harsh truth about yourself. The second action you must take is to learn to say no. Stop allowing others to take advantage of you just because you can't say no and you feel pressured Instead of having someone not appreciate you for it, you might be surprised to find that they actually start to respect you more for setting boundaries. It's okay to be a little selfish in life. Value yourself and don't sacrifice for people who wouldn't do the same for you. Thirdly, be kind only if it's authentic. It's not about getting rewards. Genuine kindness is expressed without expecting recognition or receiving something in return. You do it from the goodness of your heart because you want to improve someone else's life work on your self-esteem. Maybe you're not in optimal physical shape and need to start going to the gym. After all, a strong body reflects a strong mind. Your body is your representation. It reflects your authority. If it's fit and looks good, you can stand out in simple clothes. But with a strong and aesthetic body, you'll attract attention. In summary, a solid presence backed by a strong body makes you invulnerable. By the way, if you're interested in evolving in life, don't forget to show your support by clicking the like button and subscribing. 
Your subscription to the channel is very important to keep opening your eyes and helping other people see and hear this kind of truth. Thank you for your attention and until next time, warrior.